In case you've been wondering what settings you can unlock when you hook up a monitor to your DJI RC Plus 2 controller, this video is for you. We've gone over the plethora of buttons and dials on this powerful controller in previous videos. Today, we're focusing on this port, the HDMI output. The seven inch screen with its 1400 nit brightness is great, but if you're at a command center sharing live footage with multiple people, or if you're flying in confined spaces where you need to watch out for small obstacles, hooking up a large monitor will make a big difference. We do that by simply plugging in a full-size HDMI cord to the top of the controller. And then shortly after that, our monitor turns on. So turning on the controller, we see the screen and of course the much larger monitor. So from our home screen, we're gonna to go to settings and then HDMI. Now without your aircraft connected to the controller, we are fairly limited in terms of what we can do. So we just have the different resolutions that we can set the output as, but that's about it. The big difference happens when we connect our controller to our aircraft. So for this, we're using the Matrice 4E, and when we power up the drone, we'll go to DJI Pilot 2, enter camera view, and close out the pre-flight check. And then we're going to press these three dots up here in the corner, and we're going to select HD. So at the bottom, we see video output type, and we just see duplicate screen. So that'll just show us everything that we see on our controller. And the next option is camera view. From this, we get a lot more options. So you can see on the monitor, it is just the camera view, so no menu settings anymore. And we'll have a few different options. So we can have the M4E only, so that just shows us the main camera. Then vision assist only. So that'll be really useful if you do have a visual observer, so they can monitor the visual assist cameras as you focus on the main camera on your aircraft. And then next we have the M4E main camera along with the vision assist that would show up in the corner there, but of course, Vision Assist doesn't turn on until we take off, so we're not gonna be able to see that today. And then the final option is Vision Assist with the M4E main camera in the corner. And also for output display, so that'll allow us to either fit the screen, which it is currently, and we could fill the screen or stretch it. But since we don't want any distortion on our monitor, we're just going to stick with fit. Then the final thing is showing flight parameters. So we can turn that on or off. And also it's important to note that when you are in camera view, you won't see any of the other menus. So if you do need to see some of those settings, make sure to turn it back to duplicate view. As you can see, the HDMI output is a lot more than just being able to see your flight on a larger monitor. So have you used the HDMI port on your controller? Let us know if it came in handy. And if you do like this kind of content, we'll have new videos every week. So make sure to hit the like and subscribe and thanks for watching.